Dearest Margaret, I know I don't normally say more than two or three words in these letters. You must have to guess so much. I'm so sorry, my love. Remember when I said I was signing up to an elite unit and I told you about the extra pay? Seemed a good enough reason to bust my ass more than necessary. What with our boy on the way? Well, I don't mind saying they done for me more than that. They helped me decide something about who I am and how I want to be in this world. Margaret, there's still such an important part of me you don't even yet know. Because I ain't ever spoke of it before. My father was a monster. Every single day he would hurt my mother, then hurt me for daring ask him not to. He had a nick on his wedding ring from one of my mother's teeth. One time I told him I was scared of something at school, yeah. He looked me dead in the eyes and said, Son, you disgust me. A man doesn't get scared of nothing. I never did know what a good man was supposed to be. A weak man to look to for an example. And then, when another weak man decided he wanted the world for his own, I ended up here. Amongst men who showed me something better. Funny how light spins with dark in that way. Let me tell you, Margaret, I have to go to war to find some semblance of peace. Because this unit, these men, each of them are a thousand times the man my father ever was. A thousand times the man I would have stayed, had I not worn this patch and stood alongside him. Now that I've been straight with you, I need to tell you about the father and brothers I was always supposed to have. This unit. My unit. The 101st Assault Division. Today we took an entire town. Field by field, block by block, house by house from German hands. And then the Germans counterattacked, tried to retake it, and we beat him again. One thing I cannot believe is how men can be under fire, death and destruction all around them, and still they act more like men than some do in the warmth of their own homes. They fight patiently, guarding their emotions and keep control of the demons inside. They fight together, side by side, every single man a crucial part of the totality, like cells or organs in a body winning a marathon. Everyone has a place. Everyone knows her worth. They fight not because that's all they know how to do. They fight as a last resort, when all else has failed. They understand that their monumental capacity for aggression and violence, it's a beast that should only be let loose to fight the biggest and darkest of monsters in this world. 
most importantly, they fight because they love who they got home, and they want to protect them with everything they have. That's the kind of man your husband is alongside, my darling. I'm telling you, these are the best chance I have of getting home, you both. If anything should happen to me, perhaps we can take comfort in this. I feel more connected to you both now than ever before. And I'm halfway around the world. I don't know. That leaves me with the feeling that whatever happens, I'll see you both again. Farewell, my loves. Jimmy.